Believe it or not, there once was a time when these guys weren't the hottest actors in Hollywood. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that made an actor a household name. I've been here for four years, and I've only just found you. Well, you found me. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at various movies that are responsible for catapulting a now notable and famous actor into the mainstream. We'll be ranking our list based on a variety of factors, including the present day fame of the actor, the popularity of the movie in question, and the impact it had to the actor's career. A medium dry martini, lemon peel, shaken, not stirred. Vodka? Of course. Number 10, Big, Tom Hanks. In the late 1980s, no one knew that this funny guy would go on to become one of the most acclaimed actors of all time. Before his big break, Hanks saw moderate success on television and in film. He starred in two seasons of the popular sitcom Bosom Buddies and secured a lead in Ron Howard's Splash. However, it was big that catapulted Hanks to superstardom. The movie earned big money at the box office and earned Hanks his first of many Academy Award nominations. You could say that it was a big stepping stone in his career, but he never got big-headed about it. Okay, I'll stop. I'm a child, Susan, and I, I'm, I'm not ready for all of this. Number nine, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. Once you play Harry Potter, you will always be Harry Potter. It's just one of those roles. No matter what Daniel Radcliffe does from now on, to many, he will always be the boy who lived. But at the same time, Radcliffe has escaped the immense pressure and fame of his childhood and come out the other end an intelligent man with a good head on his shoulders. He also has a host of non-Potter roles to prove he has some proper acting talent and star power. While he has focused on smaller projects since the conclusion of Harry Potter, he will always be in the public eye. But Hagrid, we're not allowed to do magic away from Hogwarts. You know that. Number 8, The Godfather Part 2, Robert De Niro. The first two Godfather films are considered two of the greatest movies of all time, and they made their casts, including Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, two of the biggest actors in Hollywood. In the 70s, De Niro had a few minor roles under his belt, including appearances in Bang the Drum Slowly and Mean Streets, but it was his star-turning role as Vito Corleone that changed everything. He was nominated for and won an Academy Award, birthing a career full of some of the greatest characters to ever grace the silver screen. You talking to me? You talking to me? Number seven, The Graduate, Dustin Hoffman. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. Like most aspiring actors, Dustin Hoffman's career began, modestly to say the least. Hoffman began his acting career unemployed, with a few non-acting jobs and commercials in between. And then he was cast against type in The Graduate. I don't believe you. Hoffman received immense amounts of acclaim, and many retrospective critics consider the role of Benjamin Braddock to be one of the most important in movie history. He was complex, he spoke to a generation of lost young adults, and he was actually considered ugly, or at least unhandsome, which some believe signaled an end to the conventionally good-looking Hollywood hero. Oh, no, no, that's not what happened. Number six, Good Will Hunting, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. When's your aiming? Next week. The story behind Good Will Hunting is one that every aspiring actor and screenwriter dreams of. Ben Affleck saw modest success before Good Will Hunting, but Damon was a relative unknown who, unlike Affleck, had only appeared in bit roles. However, Damon soon moved in with Affleck, and they both wrote and eventually starred in Good Will Hunting, a movie which earned $225 million and two Academy Awards, including original screenplay. You know what the best part of my day is? For about 10 seconds from when I pull up to the curb when I get to your door. Because I think maybe I'll get up there and I'll knock on the door and you won't be there. Affleck was only 25 when he won, making him the youngest person to ever win the Screenplay Award, and making he and Damon both stars to watch. 21 now, so... You're legally allowed to drink, so we figured the best thing for you, kid, was a car. How do you like it? Number five, Risky Business, Tom Cruise. Just take those old records off the shelf. I said listen to them by myself. 1983 was an enormous year for Tom Cruise. Cruz appeared in several films throughout the early 80s, but his life-changing year began with a role in The Outsiders, in which he briefly appeared as Steve Randall. He also appeared in All the Right Moves, which released in October, but it was August's risky business which made him a star. So, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. It was immediately praised by critics for its satire, and it is now regarded as one of the greatest high school movies of all time. While Top Gun made Cruz the blockbuster star he is today, Risky Business cemented him as a notable Hollywood heartthrob. Thank you. Number four, Dr. No, Sean Connery. I admire your luck, Mr. Bond. 
James Bond. Starring as the coolest man in the known universe is certainly a good career move, as Daniel Craig could tell you, but it's Sean Connery we owe for Bond's big screen legacy and Bond we owe for Connery's. Dr. No wasn't a critical darling out the gate, but it proved to be enormously popular, made Connery a household name, and kickstarted the Bond franchise. It's funny, I thought you'd turn up sooner or later. The Scottish actor would don the tux four more times before parting ways, only to be coaxed back for one more go with 1971's Diamonds Are Forever, and then another last go in Never Say Never Again. Do you lose as gracefully as you win? I wouldn't know, I've never lost. Number three, Rocky, Sylvester Stallone. You're still $70 late. While Stallone is one of the biggest and most notable action stars in history, his acting career began, um, rather unconventionally. By 1970, Stallone found himself homeless, so he appeared in a porno called The Party at Kitty and Studs to earn some money. He then acted in an erotic off-Broadway play called Score and appeared in a few proper roles before writing Rocky. Inspired by the famous Ali Wepner fight, the film was an enormous success, grossing $225 million and earning 10 Academy Award nominations. While he went in a more action-oriented direction later in his career, it all started with a restrained and dramatic Rocky. Tell me, Rocky, you got any representation? You have a manager? Uh, no, just me. Number two, The Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll be back. A lot of Arnie's early filmography was flimsy at best. However, James Cameron's The Terminator proved to the world that he could be one nasty and scary dude, and it's a wave he's still riding. A bodybuilder turned actor, Schwarzenegger faced setbacks due to his distinct accent, physique, and unmarketable name. He saw some success with Stay Hungry and Conan the Barbarian, but it was his turn as the eponymous Terminator that truly made him a star. It became his signature role, his lines have become iconic, and it cemented his status as a bankable action star. Nice night for a walk. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Well, I may be an outlaw, darling, but uh, you're the one stealing my heart. I can't seem to find my toothbrush, so I'll pick one up when I go out today. Other than that, I'm in good shape. Number one, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, Harrison Ford. Han Solo, I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Talk about a career roller coaster. Ford initially appeared in very small roles in various movies and television shows before packing it in and becoming a carpenter to support his family. However, he soon got back into acting, appearing in American Graffiti and The Conversation. George Lucas then had Ford do line reads for his upcoming movie, a little project called Star Wars, and ultimately decided to cast him as Han Solo instead of the actors he was filling in for. Uh, everything's under control, situation normal. The movie ended up changing cinema forever. Han Solo became a timeless character, and Harrison Ford's life was never the same. Sorry about the mess. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.